Hi everyone, and welcome to another video of the SAFI webinar series. In this video, we are going to have an overview of the loading surface command. The user can create loading surfaces using the command add a load surface on the addition toolbar. After activating this command by pressing the right button on the mouse, the context menu for surfaces will appear and allows you to select the type of surfaces. The software allows to create two types of loading surfaces a three joint surface and a four joint surface. So, graphically to create a loading surface, the user needs to connect successively on three or four joints of the model. It is not necessary to cut the surface at an intersection with existing joints. However, the surface loads will be redistributed only on the members of the contour. In this case, the members inside the surface are ignored. Load surfaces cannot be created in a series using this command. We can delete the loading surface using the command delete on the addition toolbar. The user can auto-generate loading surfaces using the command generate surfaces on the addition toolbar. Before activating this command, the user needs to select coplanner members and then click on the command generate surface to generate the surfaces as we can see in this picture. In this case, all generated surfaces will have the same normal vector. Let's start our demo. To add a loading surface, we click on the command create a loading surface on the addition toolbar. If we do a right click on the mouse, the user can select the type of surface, for example, a three joint surface or a four joint surface. After that, the user will click on the four joints in the model. We click on the first joint, the second joint, and the third and the fourth joint. If we want to create a three joint surface, we select a three joint surface from this menu, then we create it in a similar way. We can create another one here, and now we have two three joint surfaces. To delete a loading surface, the user can use the command delete a loading surface on the addition toolbar. We can also use the selection command. So, the user selects an element, in this case, a loading surface. Then we use the delete key on the keyboard to delete the elements. To edit the attributes of a loading surface, we can double click on the loading surface to open the surface attributes dialog box. We can also edit one loading surface using the command edit surface in this list. We can also edit loading surfaces by selection. So, if I select a group of elements, I can edit the attributes of the selected loading surfaces using the command surface attributes on the addition toolbar. We can create, edit, or delete loading surfaces using numerical tables. To do so, go to the tables menu and select load surfaces. In this model, we only have one loading surface. All the attributes of the loading surface can be edited directly from this table. We can add a new loading surface here. I'm going to change the ID and then we can edit the joints of this loading surface. We can also delete a loading surface from this table. It is possible to move or copy a loading surface using the command move or copy. So if you want to create a copy of this loading surface here, I can select the distance. So the distance will be from this joint to this joint and then we can create a copy. For example, I will create in this case three copies and we click copy. If we activate the command edit surface, we can see the internal axis system associated with the surface. When we create a loading surface, the axis X points from the first joint to the second joint. So if I create a loading surface in the opposite direction and I activate the command edit surface, we can now see that the axis X is in the opposite direction of this loading surface. For this loading surface, the normal axis is in the direction Y positive. For this loading surface, the normal axis is in the direction Y negative. We can inverse the connectivity of the loading surface by editing the attributes of the surface 
and click on this button to inverse the connectivity. Now, the normal axis for these two surfaces is in the direction Y positive. It is also possible to use the command generate surface to auto-generate loading surfaces when we have coplanar members. I'm going to delete these loading surfaces. Then, we are going to select the members, and if you click on this arrow, we can see the command generate. We click on generate, and it will automatically generate the loading surfaces. After the generation, if we want to edit the attributes of the surface, we can select them and use the command surface attributes to change the attributes of this surface. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and catch you in another one of our webinar series videos.